What's up, what's good, what's pop, what's crack, what's percolating, what's really good in the hood, it's your man Theo Butler, and yeah, you can tell when somebody feeling better, because they just can't keep their mouth closed, that's me. Anyway, so, what brings me to y'all today, uh, at least for this next video, femininity, feminist, masculinity, feminist, masculinity, yeah, feminist, feminist, and masculinity. Feminist masculinity. Why? My daughter is enrolled in college and she enrolled just recently in a feminist class. And I said, oh, I'm going to need you to keep me posted on this one. She said, Daddy, why? I'm like, because I've always been interested. The word feminist. It has a lot of things attached to it. Like, you know. Some people hear the word feminist and they automatically think a whole bunch of negative stuff. And I won't get into it. Let your mind, let your imagination wander. But we do understand, we do at least all agree that a, a feminist is a strong, independent woman. What's the opposite of that? I'm asking. Because... With the Me Too movement, we didn't hear toxic masculinity. As long as I've been living, I had male chauvinist pig. I had, um, but, um, but male chauvinist pig. What? Uh, I didn't had toxic masculinity. Um, I didn't had all like I. I really don't get no. Like I got ladies. And I got gentlemen. Like, ladies, that's good. Gentlemen, that's good. But what is the male opposite of feminist? And can I be proud of it? <laughs> like, like, if a woman can be proud to be a feminist, what label is there that that's the opposite of feminist that I, as a guy, can say, that's me and I'm good? Because... Masculinity got some t got some stuff with it, y'all. Like I ain't, I've never heard toxic femininity, but I've heard toxic masculinity. So is it that if it's if it's I don't know. Like I want to ask the question. Like I'm asking, like can I be masculine and not be toxic? Like I'm can I be a man's man and not be toxic? Like can I want my son to play football and there nothing be wrong with that? You know, uh, can I, can I be, cause yeah, I can tell y'all as a dude, yes, God bless me with a son. Yes. I want him to play sports and everything like that. Yes, I absolutely can. Would I be okay with him cooking? Yeah. I'd be okay with him cooking. I cook. I play sports too. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to tell you. It's like if my daughter wants to play sports, I'm not going to say, no, you belong in the kitchen. I'm going to be like, let's go. <laughs> So I'm okay, but if she want to say, "Dad, I want to go to culinary school," I'm be like, "Okay, let's go." So I'm asking, I'm asking. I really, my daughter is taking this feminist class, and I'm all for it because I really, really, really want to know because I feminist. Could this me being funny? Like I, I need y'all to understand, ladies. This me being funny. Y'all get offended. Oh, well, I already told y'all I'm being funny. I've dated a lot of women in my lifetime. Well, hell, I've only dated women in my lifetime. So. But uh, y'all all run for critters. Like, I mean, like, I've, I've dated some female because, I, you know, as much as I like a female to, you know, look a certain type of way, for whatever reason, I always get the female that thinks she can whoop my ass. I don't, I don't, I don't understand that. Anyway, but no, seriously, I can't make that up. But regardless of who they think they are, regardless of how foul their mouth are, is, regardless of how physically imposing they think they are, they all run from lizards, roaches, uh, uh, frogs, all kind of stuff. And guess who got to come get the frog? The lizard, the roach. All five, eight, 180 pounds. And I'm telling you, I done dated females from five feet to six, two. And each and every time I didn't had to come get the damn critter. 
and they are all strong, independent black women. They all, to a degree, would tell you that they feminists, and they will all tell you they don't need a man for a damn thing. I ain't saying, I'm just saying. So, you know, hey, I'm with the women. You know, I believe a woman can, you know, should get, you know. See, I'm having a problem even saying that. My daughter was like the same thing. She's like, Daddy, I think I'm a feminist, but I don't necessarily agree with the feminist way. She's like, I don't necessarily agree with all of them. She right. I'm sitting up here right now because like, I'm like, I'm, I was taught, raised to be a gentleman. But if you want equality, if I approach the door for you before you do, because I know what I would normally do the way I was raised. Feminists, this is on y'all. Help me out. I get to the door before you. You want to be treated equally. Normally what I would do in that situation is I would get to the door, open the door, and hold it open for you. You want to be treated equally. I need help with this. Am I wrong? Am I supposed to... Go, get to the door first, open the door for myself, and then walk in and hold the door open for you to come in after me? Because really, that just don't sound right. Like, that don't seem right to me at all. But is that what you want me to do? Help me out. Same thing with the elevator. <laughs> if I get to the elevator before you do, I know how I was taught. I know how I was raised. I'm supposed to press the button. Let you get on first and then I get on after you. Are you saying to me that what I should be doing is I should press the button, get my happy ass on first and then let it let you get in? Help me out. I'm supposed to let you get off the elevator first. If me and you go into the same floor, I am supposed to let you exit first. Are you telling me as a feminist what you want me to do is I, we get to the floor, I'm in front of you, I walk off first. Help me out. We confused. There's a lot of us men out here confused. If you if you a female and you a feminist and you put your hands on me and you want to be treated equally, I know how this goes if a dude puts his hands on me. I'm supposed to two-piece him. Knock him out. <laughs> I'm not raised like to do that with a female. I'm supposed to dead this conversation and walk away from you and do everything I can to, to not eat, to not, for this not to get physical. As a dude, if you're a dude, I'm supposed to not care. So are you telling me as a feminist, you're supposed to get treated equally in this situation? Y'all ladies hit me up. I ain't saying I ain't I ain't saying I'm just saying I ain't asking I'm just asking click like subscribe share I I'm asking on behalf of the damn gentleman that's what I'm doing damn the men I ain't gonna ask on behalf of them cause I men I'm I'm us gentlemen us gentlemen are confused help us out cause I'm 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 with it I'm for the ride I really want to know what a feminist is cause the last thing I want to do at the end of the day is mistakenly piss y'all off. Cause y'all do outnumber us, like for real, y'all do. Like ladies, y'all do outnumber us. Us men, y'all outnumber us a great deal. And when you look at how we get broke down even further as men, y'all got us like 30, 40 to one. So the last thing I need is for me to walk out my door and 30 feminists getting ready to whoop my ass. I can't win that fight for nothing in the world. I ain't saying, I'm just saying, peace.